Hi, violins and violas. Today we're going to learn how to pizzicato while holding the bow. So when you're learning to pizzicato while holding the bow, here's your bow. Here's my right hand. I'm just going to grab it like this, kind of just grabbing the bow. So now remember when you learned how to pizzicato, you put your thumb on the side of the fingerboard. You do the same thing while holding the bow. So I'm putting my thumb on the side of the fingerboard. Then I'm going to pizzicato with my index finger. In order to do that, I kind of have to point my bow up so I'm not down hitting the bow. The bow has to be pointed up. Then you can pizzicato. Let's pizzicato on the D string practicing this. My thumb is on the side of the fingerboard and I'm pizzicatoing like that. All right, now we go to our bow hold. This is called arco. Arco means bowing. So bow, here's arco, pizzicato. Let's do this exercise. Arco, pizzicato. Let's do it again. Arco, pizzicato. You should be able to do this fairly fluidly, fairly fast, because when you're playing in an orchestra, sometimes you have to go pretty fast between arco and pizzicato. All right, so uh, whenever you see arco, that means bow, and now you can pizzicato while holding the bow. Let's try doing that together. So let's try doing four arco, let's start with pizzicato, four pizzicatos and four arcos on the D string. So let's do four pizzas, one, two, three, four. Now go to arco, and let's do four arco bows. Back to pizzicato. My thumb's on the side of the fingerboard. Let's go to four arcos. So that's a good exercise to practice on all your strings. And even when you're just holding your bow and you don't even have your instrument, you can practice going arco, pits, arco, pits. See you in the next lesson.